Hey guys, Flair here. Today I'll be making a small guide for Hidden in Skull Extremes ad phase. Basically what pushed me to make this guide is in Purity Finder I've seen a lot of players do some weird strat that does not work 100% of the time but uh, they manage to get lucky and think that uh, this is a correct way to do it. But sometimes they just wipe because of that. Basically Hadelins here is going to go untargetable and then there will be 6 crystals that will spawn and 2 adds. Basically what people have been doing on Party Finder is they've been uh, making the tanks tank the add at uh, east and west while the party will be going north always and start killing the crystals and then rotate clockwise and the tanks have to keep rotating clockwise. By doing this they are not effectively doing the mechanic correctly and hence they tend to wipe a lot often. So like I said there will be 6 crystals total and 2 adds and basically I have a diagram right here. Basically these are the crystals and these two are the adds. So going back to the video you will notice that here these crystals are glowing. Basically if these crystals glow they are going to fill in the conviction gauge very quickly. So your goal here is to kill the crystals that glow first. Going back to my diagram, so in our case right here, these south crystals were glowing. So what happens is if the adds are too close, they will get tethered to the crystals. And if that happens, the crystals will get a resistance buff up and you won't be able to damage and kill the crystals. So here in this case, the tanks have to bring the adds all the way to north and they will tether to these crystals. That is perfectly fine right now because the tether is not to the glowing crystals. If it's to the glowing crystals it will fill even more quickly. So meanwhile the party will be killing the three crystals that are glowing at south. Once they finish killing these, the tanks are going to bring the adds from north all the way to south. When they do that, these three crystals will be freed. After that, the party will be moving north and will be killing the other three crystals. Do note that this can be reversed, so it's not always necessarily that the south crystals will be glowing first. It can also be that the north set of crystals will be glowing first. Do note also that it is always the three north and the three south that glows first. So in this case, in case the North Crystals glowed first, what uh, the tanks will do is they will bring the adds to the south and the party will be killing the North set of crystals. After they finish that, the tanks are going to move the adds and tank it to the north while the party will go south and kill the rest set of crystals. Once all the set of crystals are done, you can proceed to kill the adds. So here, just like I described, you notice how me and the other players are killing the crystals. Do note that the difference in glow here, the other crystals are not glowing while these ones are glowing. And here you notice that there is the deserts to the adds. And then we are going to kill the last one here. But here our tank made a slight mistake of bringing the art too close. So it got tethered to this one right here. He's going to push it away. And then we are going to kill the last set of glowing crystals. Once you finish killing the three glowing crystals, this conviction gauge will fill up really slowly. Now you have plenty of time to kill the rest set of the crystals. So here, the tanks, you can see there that they are tanking the adds. Make sure healers to watch the tanks HP meanwhile this happens because the adds have a damage buff by being too close. You don't really have to tank them together because they get a damage buff up, I believe. But uh, it is tankable even at min minimum my level, so hence uh, we just prefer to tank them together. Once these crystals are killed, it will decrease the adds HP and it will be at around 3% each. Then here we finish killing the adds 
and the art phase is basically done. Thank you guys for watching this and I hope this guide helps you. Take care and have fun and a happy end walker.